All right, let's bring in NFL insider Jonathan Jones here. So, J.J., what is the latest? What's your understanding right now of both the Browns and the Panthers at the moment? Yeah, listen, there's a want to. Cleveland is not going to be retaining Baker Mayfield. He's not going to be playing for the Cleveland Browns in 2022. Uh, that was clear as soon as they signed Deshaun Watson to his record-breaking deal. Meanwhile, the Carolina Panthers are interested in Baker Mayfield at the right price. Remember, of course, they have Sam Darnold. They drafted Matt Corral uh, this past year in the draft. They also have P.J. Walker. But uh, on Sam Darnold, he is owed more than $18 million on his fifth-year option that the Panthers picked up when they acquired Darnold, Darnold more than a year ago. So what they don't want to do is have to pay another fifth-year option, or at least in its totality, to Baker Mayfield. And so that's where you have a Cleveland Browns team that's going to have to be willing to pick up a significant portion of that contract. I'm hearing a lot of numbers, so I'm not going to sit here and report what a number would be. However, uh, it would be a significant portion of that contract. Meanwhile, the Carolina Panthers and owner David Tepper, he is not at all interested in paying half of the salary, uh, certainly not interested in paying all of the salary. And so is that number as low as two or three million dollars, four or five? You know, to be determined, this is what negotiating uh, is like with David Tepper. But um, if they can figure out the number, and is it the Cleveland Browns are going to have to take more? Or is it that Baker Mayfield is going to have to restructure his contract to take less to earn his freedom out of Cleveland, get with the Carolina Panthers team while minicamp is going on? Those are possibilities. You know, if you're Baker Mayfield, you can sit there and say, listen, I got $19 million coming my way in guaranteed money. I don't have to do anything. And listen, that's a lot of money to a lot of people. And so I'd understand if he doesn't want to take a pay cut. However, there is a path here for him to be a starting quarterback of an NFL team because it's not going to be with the Cleveland Browns. And it is with the Carolina Panthers. And if he were to take less money right now, I do believe that deal would be done. All right, so that is still what's facing both sides on, on maybe completing a deal at the moment, but obviously have engaged in talks again, and we're trending that way. And, of course, you'll be keeping tabs on the very latest there. But you referenced what the Panthers have done to try to find their franchise quarterback. They've even dipped back in the well to bring back uh, Cam Newton, former MVP, took him to the Super Bowl back in, in 2015. Uh, how do you best describe the challenges in the David Tepper era of how tough it has been for them to find that franchise quarterback. You know, it's hard. It's hard in the NFL. A number of teams have found that it's very hard. You, uh, the, the draft is a 50-50 proposition, even when you have a, a, a top pick, right? I mean, look at Sam Darnold on his second team. Look at Baker Mayfield about to be on his second team. Those are top three picks right there. And so there's no guarantee, even if you hold the number one overall pick, that you're going to land the guy. Well, the Carolina Panthers have not held the number one pick over these past couple of years. And uh, they had something very special with Cam Newton going back to 2011. Uh, his body began to, to give out, and so they had to move on from him. They thought that Teddy Bridgewater could be that guy and sign him to a three-year deal. Well, when he wasn't performing up to the standards of owner David Tepper and some within the team, uh, they, especially when it came to end-of-half situations, end-of-game situations, uh, he was... Uh, traded to the Denver Broncos with a restructured contract very similar to what we may have to see here with the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield. And then meanwhile, you're just trying to cobble up the pieces. They looked at Sam Darnold just like so many NFL coaches uh, and executives have and said, listen, he didn't have the best supporting staff and group around him in New York. Let's get him here and, and we can get the most out of him. And they just didn't see enough flashes after the third game of the season. And so are they comfortable going into the season with Sam Darnold as their starting quarterback? I don't know if comfort would be the word. However, um, there is absolutely a world and a, and a scenario where Sam Darnold is without question the week one starter for the Carolina Panthers going up against the Cleveland Browns. I'll just say this about Baker Mayfield and the Panthers. It seems logical, Tommy, that this deal should get done. However, I have folks within that Panthers building who are telling me I'm not sure it's going to get done. So we'll see. All right. That's the very latest from Jonathan Jones. JJ certainly appreciated as always. Again, talking about uh, these two teams in which Carolina, by the way, has not had a winning record since David Tedder bought them. Uh, still looking for that mark perhaps this year. The Pick 6 podcast host Will Brinson in the latest podcast ranking the best quarterback seasons in NFL history featuring Brady, Manning, Montana, Mahomes, and more. Make sure you download them and follow the guys today.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.